guys, it is Arika Misha, and today I wanted to show you how I make my raspberry celestial seasonal herbal tea. I love this tea. I've been drinking this tea for years. It's a good tea, a good healthy tea, they say. They say. Who they is, we don't know, but um yes I don't know if you guys have seen this in the store I'm sure you probably have uh, this is old school tea right here but this is some really good tea uh, raspberry zinger celestial season herbal tea you can have it hot like it says here you can have it hot or you can have it iced I like the uh, ice I like having it um, cold so um, I just wanted to, let me see, let me read this to you guys. Well, I don't need to read all that. But, um, yeah, it's a really good tea. I've been drinking it for years. You can have it hot or cold. Um, but one thing I did want to read, the back of it, where it says here, let me read to you guys. I'm trying to read it through the camera. This robust herbal brew gets its sweet, tart aroma and taste from tangy, fruity hibiscus. Um, and ripe red raspberry flavor served warm the bowl blend is soothing and satisfying served over ice and it is the very taste of summer day I love this tea I'm sure you guys have seen it before some of you may have fixed it before but I just wanted to come to you today and show you how um, I fix it um, how I fix my uh, herbal tea I mean it's a herbal tea you know that's like a healthier tea as you can see it's caffeine free too as well I have been drinking this tea forever as long as I can remember so I just wanted to come today and show you guys how I make it in case you wanted to try it out it is a really good tea all right so you guys see here I have um, two two gallons here and as you guys can see it's just some simply lemonade that I had so I mean these are containers uh, that I've used before you know from leftover lemonade so those are the containers that I use I've got two of those so let me take you over to the stove I've got my sugar ready I don't put a lot of sugar you guys will see but I do like it sweet and let me get these tea bags off as you guys can see I've got my tea bags back here um, I do eight per uh, of my uh, containers my gallon containers over here I do eight tea bags per so I've got 16 eight and eight eight for each in in this water so I like to have I put it on a low um, heat a low medium heat for about 10 minutes um, and as you can see once it starts coming to a little boil that's when I go ahead and cut it off and um, I let my tea bags sit for a few minutes you know to soak in let the water finish soaking in the herbal raspberry flavors from the tea bags so like I said let me repeat that for you guys um, I put it on a low medium heat um, and then I let it come to a boil once it comes to a boil um, I go ahead and cut the, cut the heat off and then I let it sit for like 10 minutes so you know and my whole house smells like raspberry it smells amazing if you've never had this tea so we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for about 10 minutes um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tea bags uh, drained um, and then we'll just have our uh, our liquid in the pot so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit and I will be back to show you guys how I make this tea all right I've got my tea bags drained out from the um, from my pot I uh, got those thrown away so now all we have left is our raspberry tea so I've got my container here Use whatever container you want. Um, I like using leftover containers. It's just easier, you know, less messy. So um, I have my uh, little filter here. This is how I like to do it. It's just easier for me to do it this way. Um, I've got my little uh, handy dandy little filter there. Um, I'm gonna pour some of the tea liquid in there. It is hot, so I gotta be careful. I'll pour half in this container and I'll pour half in the other container. Make sure you guys can see. Okay, good. All right, so I've got some in that one. Okay, they are even. I've done this so much. <laughs> So, all right, so we've got half and half, as you guys can see, and that's eight bags, eight bags here and there. So, that's how I normally like to do it, to make sure, you know, everything's going to taste the same, because I put the same ingredients in each container. So, 
all right so we've got our tea in here and as you can see i like i don't let my um my um tea get cold i let it kind of cool off a little bit about 10 minutes after <clears throat> i take it from the heat but i like to let it i like to work with it still hot because it just brings out the flavor more helps your sugar melt more uh better so more better i mean helps your sugar <laughs> um melt better so all right so we've got all our tea in here let's go ahead and get our sugar in all right and i do three cups of sugar three cups of sugar that's what i keep it at i don't want to over make it too sweet i, I don't want to do that so and the girls love this tea too so all right so i've got one cup of sugar i'm pouring in we'll let that drain i do now remember that's i did 16 tea bags eight and eight eight for each container um and i do three cups of sugar guys can use whatever kind of sugar you want splenda whatever uh sugar alternative whatever you want to use so i'm going to do three cups of sugar in each container and as you see i have not added my water yet i'm not adding the water yet i'm just working with my uh tea right now okay so we've got three in this one we'll let that finish draining because i've got to get more sugar in here all right you know what let me pull this let's push that one out of the way all right and we've got to get our three cups of sugar in this one so i want to use this uh sugar up before i open a new container all right so we've got one cup here so i've got to put two more cups over here okay let me get my sugar and i'm just using regular public sugar i love public sugar all right so got my container back filled so we've got to do two more cups in here All right, so we've got all our sugar in, three cups of sugar in each one. We've got that all done. So let's move on. All right, so let me get this out of here. Don't need that no more, okay? So what I do before I add my water, I get this uh, mixed up well together. Let's get this mixed up well. And I like these containers too because they've got the handles, you know? And I can, so I can just shake it. Because you want to get your sugar and your tea mixed together first. Let those two meet each other and get to know each other first. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. So, I'm going to mix. I'm going to go ahead and mix both of them. Get them both shaken up. Yada, yada, yada. See, in that hot tea and that sugar... The hot tea melts the sugar so much easier and quicker. All right, we got them all. Shake, 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 shake. Woo, this is a good workout. Woo, for the arms. Woo, that's my workout for the week. I'm tired. All right, so let me look and see if I got my sugar all mixed up. Yep, my sugar is all mixed up. Yep, it's all mixed up. Now that we've got that all done, the only thing left to do is to add our water. Let's go ahead and add our water. I just add water straight from my sink. Show you guys. Add water straight from the tap. You guys see that? Yep, you guys can see me. Okay, we got that one full. Let's get this one filled up. Make sure you guys can see that. 
Let me adjust my camera so you guys can see how I'm doing it. Perfect. Just regular tap water. You can use your bottled water, whatever water you want to use. We are not afraid of tap water. So, we've got good water here anyway. So, just filling it up. I fill it up to about that. Let's get you guys back over here. Over here so you can see. Let's see. Over here so y'all can see the tea. All right. <clears throat> okay. We're going to put the tops on. We're just going to shake everything up. It's easy, guys. Quick and easy. <clears throat> Shake, 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 mix everything up. Everybody need each other. All right. Okay. And that's it, guys. We've got our teas. Our two teas. And like I said, you guys can use whatever containers you want. I love using leftover containers. <clears throat> it's just easier for me. So right now, I've got my glass. I'm going to go ahead and put some ice in it. Let's get some, get some ice in our cup. Yes, we are ready for some raspberry tea. I love this tea, you guys. I love it. <clears throat> Publix always has it on sale. Y'all know I love Publix. Publix always has it on sale. Look at that. Ooh, looks amazing. Let me give it a sip. Ah, it's like the ASMR. I'm trying to shake the cup. Eh, eh, ASMR, kind of sort of, whatever, y'all. Mm, it is so good. I like taking my glass and shaking it. Because, you know, it's not quite cold yet. So I take my um, cup and I kind of shake it so the ice can make my tea cold. I love doing that. Mm. Oh, it tastes so good, guys. Three cups of sugar. That's all you need. That's all you need. You don't want it to be all sweet like your Kool-Aid. Because y'all know. Make sure y'all go watch my Kool-Aid video. How I make my Kool-Aid. Anyway, Kool-Aid supposed to be sweet. That's just the way it's supposed to be. Anyway, so... But yeah, this is my raspberry tea, you guys. It's so good. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. Let me get this out. And the kids love it. And you know what? It's a really good tea. It's an herbal tea. It's a healthier, healthier tea. So you fix it right, the kids will love it. I don't over sugar it. Don't over sugar it. That is the key. Don't put too much sugar. But yeah. All right, guys. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.